Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another stream. <laughs> this one's going to be a little bit different. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yes, you guys. Today... Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing um, some guided breathing together. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this, but also a little bit nervous because I've never done anything like this before. Um, but uh, this is a breathing technique that I do pretty much every day. And... Um, it's something that, like, yeah, is a part of my routine, and um, I think it, it makes me feel really good, and I wanted to share it with you guys, so. <laughs> this is from the debut. Yeah, I did mention in my debut stream that um, I was a fan of breathing. <laughs> and uh, as Mimi as that sounds, I do, yeah, I do like, um, uh, you know, just... Um, breathing exercises and um, I don't know some some types of meditation work for for me but uh, this one in particular I really vibe with so uh, I'll explain what we are doing today so essentially today um, well there's very there's a lot of different variations of this breathing technique that are used in meditation but um, today we're going to be using uh, one called the Wim Hof method which involves rapid and prolonged breathing while keeping your body as relaxed as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing today. That's the one that I, I usually do. And uh, I will also start off with a really quick disclaimer. So, um, and please, uh, yeah, make sure to listen to this part. So, disclaimer, this breathing technique includes fast breathing and long breath holds. So if you've got any medical conditions or breathing conditions like asthma, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Um, also, please don't do this technique in any dangerous situations such as driving uh, or in s stressful situations or even in the bath um, because you can get lightheaded doing this technique. So please just um, please use common sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely make sure that if you're if you're actually following along with this with me, please make sure that you are in a safe environment, such as lying down on your couch or your bed, um, or even sitting down. Just make sure you're sitting or lying down. Okay. All right, well, with uh, that out of the way, <laughs> I guess we can uh, get started. Let's breathe together, shall we? This is, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Um, I will show you, I'll show you my little, uh, my little breathing asset thing, <laughs> just so it doesn't catch you off guard and then you laugh when we start, but here, I got this little, <laughs> I got this little in, out, okay, so together we'll be like, <sighs> okay, so that's what it's going to look like, <laughs> so just, I just wanted to give you a heads up just before. <laughs> so you didn't get like jump scared by it, you know? All right. So first things first, are you guys sitting down in a comfortable position or lying down? I uh, tend to do this lying down a lot, actually. So um, I definitely recommend lying down if you're on your bed or something. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, definitely. Yeah, as I mentioned before, don't don't do this in the bath. Okay. Do this uh, lying down on your bed or on your couch. Okay. So, essentially what we're going to do is we are going to follow the prompt and we are going to breathe in and out together uh, to this rhythm. And uh, once we get to the end of 30, um, 30 breathing in and breathing out, we're going to breathe in, then breathe out and hold. And we're going to hold our breath. Okay? And... We are going to start off with one minute of holding our breath. And I know that that sounds like it might be a lot, but if you, uh, if you would like to try with me, I think that, um, I think you can do it. Okay. But if you need to breathe beforehand, that's okay too. So 
but uh, we will do our best together. And then after the retention, we are going to breathe in for 15 seconds, hold, and then breathe out. And that's a round. So let's give it our, our best shot, okay? All right. <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Okay, so starting off with breathing in. So three, two, one, breathe in. And out. Make sure you're breathing in all the way and breathing out all the way. Make sure you're relaxing your body completely. Halfway there. with relaxation, out with stress. Five more. Big one in. Breathe out and hold. Okay, just relax your body. Hold your breath. And just trust your body. You might feel a little bit lightheaded. A little bit of tingling in your fingers and your toes. That's normal. It's completely normal. 30 seconds left. Just relax. And focus on your heartbeat. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Big deep breath and hold for 15 seconds. And let go. Nice, that was round one. Okay. Like I said, you might, you might feel a little bit of tingling, and that's normal, okay? We're gonna move on to the next round together, okay? <laughs> so just get into that rhythm. While you're doing this, really try to just focus on your body, okay? Just really try to focus on your heartbeat and just relaxing, because you don't want to be tensing any part of your body. Okay, round two now, ready? Here we go. Breathe in, and out. Just get into that rhythm. In with relaxation. Out with stress. Halfway there. Ten 
Don't tense your body. Just relax. Five more. Last one. Breathe out and hold. You don't have to type if you don't want to. You can just relax with me. We're going for one minute 30 this time. Focus on your heartbeat. Just notice it. It's always there. And now just try to feel the sensations in your body, the blood running through your veins, and just be at peace here with me in this moment. You're doing really great. You're almost there, 30 seconds left. Just relax. You've got this. Ten seconds left. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one big breath in and hold for 15 seconds. And let it go. Okay, round two done. If you can't hold your breath the entire amount, don't worry, don't worry. Just do what feels right, what feels right for your body. We're all different. Okay, want to do one final round with me? Yeah, no forcing, don't force yourself. Take it your speed, but if you're breathing in for the 30 rounds and breathing out, I think you'll be able to surprise yourself. Okay, final round, you guys ready? You're doing great, by the way. <laughs> okay, last one, here we go. Okay, so let's get back into that rhythm. Breathe in, and out. Just relax. doing this together. Halfway there. Ten seconds left. there. Last one. Breathe out and hold.
relax your body. Focus on your heartbeat. Feel the tingling in your fingers and your toes. You might notice different parts of your body, different temperatures, getting colder or warmer. That's completely normal. Just really focus in on the sensations. Thirty seconds left. You're doing fantastic. Just listen to the waves and really let your stress fade away. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Big deep breath in and hold. And let it go. <laughs> and you're done. You're done. You did it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> you did it. I'm so proud. <laughs> how do you feel? I, I want to know how you feel right now. You feel good? Feel a bit dizzy? That's completely normal. Don't worry. I feel like I'm floating. Yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? It's it's amazing. It's such an amazing feeling. Never felt that nice before. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, it just ugh, it just makes you feel like well, it makes me feel really relaxed. It makes me feel like my body, it's kind of just like it's almost if you do a couple more rounds of this, it can almost feel uh, euphoric, you know? <sighs> so yeah, we finally did it, the breathing stream. <laughs> it's only a short technique, but it's effective, I feel like. Disassociating? <laughs> it's really just about getting back inside of yourself, you know? Really just instead of focusing on everything happening outside of your body, just focusing on yourself. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm proud of you though. I'm very proud of you. So yeah, this is something that I do every day. <laughs> Usually in the mornings. It's good in the mornings before you've eaten anything. I I've tried this um, after I've eaten stuff and um, you can be a bit bloated. <laughs> <laughs> so it can be a little bit uncomfortable if you've got it on a full stomach, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share um, it with you because it's really helped me with, um, with anxiety. And um, yeah, I was, um, I was pretty bad for a number of years with anxiety and depression. And, um, yeah, through a number of different things that I tried, um, this included, um, started implementing this and it really made me feel better, uh, or, or really just kind of helped, you know, break down, I guess all the, I don't know, all the, all the negative emotions and, uh, really made me put me in like a better place to like actually start growing and healing, you know? And um, if, uh, if I've introduced this to any of you and um, you like it a lot and you decide to implement it in your uh, daily routine like me, that's cool. If, you, if it was just fun for a one-off, that's cool too. But um, 
if I could, uh, if this could help anybody, like it helped me, then I would be over the moon. I would be so happy because I don't want anybody to feel like, like I did. Um, because nobody deserves that. And, um, yeah, you guys are amazing and special and I super appreciate you being here with me today. I might just turn this into a just chatting stream as well too now because I know that this was very short. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I super appreciate you guys trying this out with me. And, and even if you didn't and you just kind of vibed in the chat, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting everybody who did, who did this with me. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> and look, now we're just uh, we're just chilling on the beach together. It's a very nice, relaxed atmosphere. <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about, dude? What do you What do you want to talk about today? We can just relax now. Uh, I also I also do this uh, breathing technique in conjunction with, and not at the same time, mind you, but um, I also do cold therapy. So I do, I think I've mentioned on Twitter and actually on YouTube before in other people's streams that I, um, I have uh, like cold showers every once in a while. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, this guy, this guy, he does the cold shower bullshit. But hey, it actually, it, it helped me a lot as well. It was like, these were two things that really helped me with, um, uh, yeah, anxiety, you know, because I used to have, um, used to have panic attacks, pretty bad ones, so, um, you know, I don't know, different things work for different people, and, uh, yeah, this sort of stuff helped me, so, just sharing my experience with you guys, um, <laughs> Cold showers are nice. Yeah, they're they're nice at the end of like a of a warm shower. It's nice to kind of just pop it on, cold, you know. I've never heard of cold therapy. Yeah, it's like a thing that's um, it's a thing that uh, even athletes do, professional athletes, right? You know, after uh, you know, like how after like a long workout, like you uh, can put like. Uh, you know, like ice on on your muscles and stuff. It's it's kind of like the same. I think it's kind of like the same idea, right? Hmm. It's better for your hair as well? Yeah, I've heard that too. That it's better for your hair. But it's kind of hard to dunk your head under like really cold water sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe like lukewarm water. That might, that might be a bit more uh, doable. <laughs> they made us take ice baths after soccer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, see, it's, uh, it's like a thing, especially with, uh, yeah, athletes. Uh, but it's something that anyone can uh, incorporate, but just be, you know, just, just use common sense with it. Same thing, same thing as anything. Uh, you know, you don't want to be taking, like, a cold shower for, like, I feel like for, like, 10 minutes plus, you know, like, why? <laughs> like, um, cold exposure is, like, good in little bursts. Like, our bodies are designed for that. Well, um... I mean, human bodies are designed for that. I know that I can, <laughs> I can probably withstand it for a bit longer, uh, but uh, human bodies are designed for that, you know? Um, and you know what? It's good. It's good to, um, to kind of put some natural stressors, stressors on your body every once in a while for limited amounts of time because it's, uh, if you've looked into it, it's pretty crazy how the body can, um, how how it responds to stressors and uh, how it kind of like <laughs> I'm not explaining it very well but there's uh there's a lot of science behind it there's a lot of science behind um uh yeah just like short exposure to um to to stress like um like cold stress you know yeah it's pretty cool so that breathing uh, technique that we just did right then, uh, 
Uh, one, of the, one of the things that it's really good for is um, increasing your circulation. And, um, yeah, and really just letting your body be efficient, right? I think that it would probably be pretty good for, uh, um, like, if you, if you had kind of, like, you know, you know how some people, like, in the, in their extremities, you know, like, their fingers and their toes, they've got, like, they've always got cold hands or cold feet or something? I feel like if you did this, like, a lot, uh, it would improve your circulation and, um, yeah, maybe you'd start to notice a difference. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, those are a couple things that I do. But, uh, what else do I do to relax? Hmm, to unwind. <laughs> you guys already know that I like touching grass. <laughs> Try to get enough uh, sun every day. I know that uh, a lot of us, we just like staying indoors <laughs> all day. I like that too. But uh, it's good to go for, um, it's good to just go outside and kind of just like, you know, mm, just really recharge from the sun. <laughs> uh Zen Zoto? <laughs> oh god. Oh man, I can imagine the fan art already. But uh we need vitamin D. We do, exactly. You guys, if we if we don't get enough vitamin D, if we don't get enough sun, uh we'll get sick. <laughs> we'll get pretty pretty sick. Why touch grass when you t can touch water? I mean as yeah, as long as it's like outside under the the rays of this beautiful sun, this beautiful star that you have. You know what, you guys? You're very lucky. You're very lucky. You are in the Goldilocks zone. You know what that is? You know what that is? It's like that, that sweet spot where you're not too far away from the sun, from a star, that everything is just frozen and, you know, inhospitable. But you're not too close to it where it's like... Your world is on fire. <laughs> so, you're very lucky. You know? I have to travel... I had to travel a long way to find a planet that was... You know, that actually... Had life on it. Um, my kind of, like, uh, system that I used to live in, uh, it had a... It had a couple. It had a few planets in it that uh, had life. And that is, that is pretty, that is pretty rare. Touch the sun. Don't touch the sun. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always close to a beach where I live. Ooh. Yo, I always wonder how it would be living, you know, like, next to the beach. Do a lot of you guys live close to a beach? I feel like everything would be rusty, you know? Like your car would be so rusted. <laughs> and I feel like your hair would always kind of be... I don't know, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you go to a beach and your hair, it's just, if you stay for like a long time, you go on a holiday, your hair kind of like feels, it feels different. Like what, what does it feel like? Wavy sea salt hair. Yeah, 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 it's like the sea salt. Crusty? <laughs> I don't know. Crusty is the... Feels salty. Frizzy. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit frizzy. Like my hair, when I, when I go to a beach, it just goes boof. <laughs> Have you ever surfed? No, I haven't actually surfed before. I've, uh, I've done like... What uh, is it? Is it called wakeboarding? When you're like on your tummy? And you're kind of like paddling with the wave? I've done that before. <laughs> I really want to try to surf, but I don't think... Uh, yeah, I'd need to find somebody who could teach me. Bodyboarding. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Body surfing. Mm, it's fun, though. I like it. I like kind of just coasting with the waves. <laughs> My hair looks like a sponge when you're on the beach, does it? <laughs> Surfer buddy? I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? You, hmm? Surfer buddy? 
<laughs> well seasoned hair. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been buried by your friends in the sand? Yes, I have. <laughs> it's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> like you kind of I think when they did it they didn't they didn't like bury me super deep because I was like no 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 I want to be able to kind of be able to move my arms and legs you know you see some people that get buried so deep that it's just their head sticking out of the sand that I feel like that would be a little bit like uncomfortable you'd feel a little bit anxious in that you know <laughs> Then people could do whatever they wanted to you. That'd be messed up. <laughs> that is scary. I'd scream. <laughs> ah. I still feel good. I feel good from the breathing. <sighs> it's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> it's nice just vibing with you guys. I've... I'm really happy that uh, that uh, you were down to do that with me. <laughs> I was wondering if it might be if people might think it would be a little bit weird, you know? I don't know. Maybe maybe some people do think that, but because some people kind of look at meditation and and stuff like that, and they go, "Ah, it's kind of weird." But so uh, I don't know. If you if you gave it a go, then. Awesome. If you didn't want to, if it's not your cup of tea, then that's all good too. So it was really relaxing. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. Trying new things are great. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You know, if you um, yeah, if you never try new things, you you'll never be able to kind of expand your horizons and yeah, you might be missing out on something really cool. So. Thank you to the people who tried something new today. <laughs> hmm. I find um, meditation difficult because of ADHD. Oh, the calmer I try to be, the quieter the area, the more my thoughts can go loose. Well, um... Hmm. Like, I... If that's the case, then, you know, and you and it's kind of like hard focus and concentrating for you maybe maybe something like cold therapy like doing you know a cold shower every once in a while might might be cool because uh because there's really nothing you need to focus on you just have to you just have to turn it turn it down and then just uh stand there right <laughs> i know that uh when i was at the peak of my anxiety it was very 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 hard for me to get out of my head like almost impossible, you know, like I could be doing, I could be doing, you know, like some kind of exercise, like, uh, or meditation. And I, and I just couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't get like out of my head, you know? So, so one thing that's cool about the, the cold therapy is that, um, you know, you just, just turn, turn the nozzle down and, and then, you just stand there, and <laughs> there's nothing you can do. You know, <laughs> like, like when you're when you're in really cold water, you can't help but go back into your body. If you if you know what I mean, you know you know like you bring your thoughts into your body, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can't help it. It's just a natural thing. Mm-hmm. So that was, uh, that was good. That was really good for me. <laughs> yeah, like, oh frick, this is so cold. What am I doing? Exactly. <laughs> but then you just endure it and you just do it, you know? <laughs> it's like forcibly grounding yourself. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's like, it's like your body is going to react to it. Um without your say so you know like like you have no input like as as soon as the the cold water hits your skin you it doesn't matter how you're thinking your body is going to react you know and then it's going to it's going to get the the good side effects and stuff from it so yeah 
How long do you usually stand in the cold water? Um, usually, usually I'd say about uh, maybe like a minute 30 to two minutes. I, I don't think that you have to do much more than that, honestly. And you don't even have to do that much, you know? Um, but, uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for the supers, you guys, as well. I will, I will read them out in a, in, if not this stream, then a future one. <laughs> yeah. Does it improve memory? I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I know that there's a lot of good things that apparently, uh, you know, people who've studied it, uh, yeah, there's a couple of cool things. But anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> How often do you guys think you go outside and touch grass? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Never? Okay, well, even even just like on your balcony, like out in the sun. A lot of people saying never. Not enough. Once a week? Hmm. Every day. Ooh. Some people do it every day. Once a month. Hmm. Five times per week. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Four times a week? At least, but forced. <laughs> Sometimes you have to force yourself, don't you? <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Every day, I have a dog. How? Isn't that just one more reason that dogs are the best? Isn't that just one more reason? They get you to go out and, and be a little bit active. Dogs are just the best, you guys. They're, there's just no better animal. I'm sorry. Kyo. Once a year, just to make sure I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, Kyo. Kyo. Once a year. Oh my god, my dude. If I lived near you, I would... I would be... <laughs> I would be just inviting myself over to your house every day. And just being like, Kyo, it's time to go for a walk. <laughs> Even just a short one. Even just a ten minute nice little walk around the, around the street. I would, and I'd get a restraining order. <laughs> no, Kyo, <laughs> it's for your own good. Okay, well, what about if you just like walked outside of the house and you just like, and we, we just sat outside for a bit. How about that? We don't even have to walk. You just got to get your vitamin D. How about that? <laughs> just, Kyo's just like us for real, for real. <laughs> Bask in the sun, exactly. You guys, you, you've seen anime. You know that's how anime girls recharge. Haven't you seen them? They stand outside and they're just like, ah, you know, to the sun. Okay, we gotta take their, we gotta take their advice. They are leading by example. <laughs> Taste the sun, exactly. Someone just call me a lizard. How am I a lizard? <laughs> what? Ren, you're an anime girl? I'm an anime boy. I'm an anime man. <laughs> Ren, which dogs do you like? I really like, um, uh, like, Pomeranians, Samoids. I like Huskies a lot. I like the kind of, um, Wolf-looking dogs, or you know, dogs that look like uh, foxes. They're so cute. <laughs> big, uh, big dog breeds. Yeah, I, li I like bigger dogs. Big dogs are cool, but I, I like small dogs as well. You know what? Chihuahuas. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate on them, but Chihuahuas are pretty cute. You know, them being angry all the time. And you, and you like try to, and you like poke them and they're just like rawr, rawr. It's funny. <laughs> Chihuahuas are crazy. Yeah, they're crazy, but they're cute. <laughs> Kyo is a Chihuahua? <laughs> that was chat that said it, not me. Kyo, don't get angry at me, okay? 
You know what, Kyo? If you're still here, I've decided to play into my strengths. I'm not good at roasting. I'm not gonna try anymore. You know what? I'm not gonna try anymore. I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> yeah, this is my letter of uh, resignation. I've retired. I had to retire at the top of my game, you know? <laughs> but anyways. What the fuck type of zen shit did you read this morning? <laughs> hey, I just did the breathing and now I feel... Uh... Oh, you can hear Kyo in the background. <laughs> No, I just, uh, I just did the breathing with, um, the Ren Vaders. Now I feel very relaxed, very, very at peace, you know? <laughs> Kyo, I will teach you my ways. I will teach you my ways. I'm just being chill. <laughs> I wonder how Kyo would be if he tried this breathing exercise. I wonder if it would like, if he'd be nice and like relaxed and, may and maybe he'd like, he'd start like complimenting everybody. He'd be going around, he'd have flowers in his hair and he'd just be throwing flowers around just being like, the world is such a magical happy place. Mini Puffins, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thank you. I think he would. I think it would be a changed Changed? Yeah, no. Really? I don't know. You didn't breathe with us, did you? You didn't try it in this stream. You never know. For real though, like, if you ever tried it. That would make me happy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it'd be kind of scary. Scary seeing Kyo be like, super, super like, positive run. I burned in lava, thank you very much. <laughs> You burned in lava? What, in Minecraft? <laughs> oh no. I've done that before. We're both really smart. <laughs> yeah, we'd be like, what multiverse are we in right now? Yeah. <laughs> ah, what time is it for you guys? I think it's probably late for a lot of you. This stuff would be really good before bed as well. Really make you sleep well, you know? What's this? I lost your pickaxe. I lost your pickaxe too in the lava. You lost it? Oh no! It's okay. We can just make another. Almost midnight? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are gonna have a good sleep tonight. To the people who did this with me, you're gonna have a good sleep. It's gonna be nice. Because now your body is in complete rest and recovery mode. Mm -hmm. There's a thing about this, um, apparently this breathing technique, like uh, one of the reasons that, it's, that it kind of like has such a good effect on people is because it kind of, um, okay, so like the, you know how we were doing the 30 rounds of breathing in and breathing out and we were doing it relatively fast? Well, when you do that, you're kind of, you know, you're putting your body into like, like, fabricated, like, stress. It's like, it's, you know, you're, you're bringing stress upon your body, but it's like a natural kind of, like, stressor, and, um, and then when you do, when you do the breath retention, when you hold your breath for that amount of time, you are completely slowing your heart rate down after a stressful moment, you know? And that, that sends a signal to your brain, your brain is sending signals to, um, go into... Instead of, you know how there's like fight or flight mode, right? Where your brain is just like, it's, it's in stress mode because, because, you know, like our ancestors, <laughs> you know, it, their, their brains, their bodies would go into fight, fight or flight if a predator was attacking them, right? And that's good. Your body, your body under a lot of stress, it means that it's, you know, it's, 
you know, it can do a lot of things. It can move fast. It can it can respond to things really fast and stuff. But it's not good to be that way in a prolonged chronic state, <laughs> you know. But unfortunately, uh, in modern day, uh, we've kind of got chronic stress, right? So our bodies are kind of a lot of a lot of us were in a constant state of fight or flight response, which is terrible for us. You know, because it's just it just wears down our body. It it um it weakens weakens our body and our, our immune system. So if you get sick and you're really really stressed, you're gonna get hit fucking hard, really hard. Yeah. So essentially, what the breathing, you know, it, it, the idea behind it and what uh, has been proved is that yeah, you get yourself into that that stress high stress by breathing and then you relax and then you hold your breath and um, your heart rate slows down and it's sending a signal to your brain to to stop with the fight or flight and then it goes into rest and recovery mode so this is this is what I've this is what I've looked into and then your body can finally actually <laughs> start recovering if you've, you know, if you're, if you're sick, if you're, um, you know, struggling with a chronic, chronic thing, it can, it can address pain and stuff that way. It's, it's good. It's really good. You could look into it if you want. Um, but it's really interesting. I find that stuff really interesting. Um, our bodies are actually incredible. They're incredible and they're also, I don't know. It's it's crazy how they can change themselves, you know. Sometimes sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. But I think that uh, they're very uh, they're really good at adapting. Hmm. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> all our hearts were beating in in sync. Exactly, exactly, you guys. You know, and I don't know, daily life is just, it's kind of non-stop, isn't it? Like, we've constantly got things to do. We've constantly got things to think about, things to consider. Like, there's, there's never a break. There honestly is never a break. So, really prioritizing even just a little bit of time to just, like, to just give yourself a fucking break is really important. You know? And it can, it can do so much. It can do so much. So, um, yeah, even if you're not, even if you're not, like, big on certain methods or whatever, and you've tried things and you're like, eh, it's still good to give yourself a bit of time to just kind of do nothing and think about nothing, you know, and just really just enjoy just being here in the present moment because it's actually pretty incredible if you think about it. Um... That we're even here. You know? So. Yeah. Might as well enjoy it while we're here, right? Uh, did you eat today? Yeah, I, I had a shake this morning. I had a smoothie. <laughs> mm. Sadly, can't take a break from school. I mean, yeah. But... You know, I think, I think we can all find even just like five or ten minutes, even at like the, the end of the day or before, before your day starts to really just kind of, you know, um, just have time for yourself, right? Because it's important and you gotta, you've got to respect yourself. Like that's non-negotiable, you know? You have to prioritize yourself and your health. Um, Ren, I suffer from severe anxiety and panic attacks. I'm going to listen to this what, uh, when they start from now on. Thank you. Oh, Maya, I'm sorry to hear. Just, um, yeah, I, I've definitely, I've, I've been there. Um, I don't really know, like, uh, advice, it, it's very hard, yeah, like, panic attacks are just something that, like, 
it's really hard to like get yourself out of it once you're once you're getting like wound up like that so i i don't know that i have like great advice except yeah i i really hope that you can find something that works for you if if uh you know if that if that helps you then that will make me really happy mm. but you got this things will get better they always do so Um, oh my god, thank you so much for the super yamayoi rainbow for you. Oh, you have started, you've started a bunch of rainbows in here. <laughs> That's really cute. Thank you so much for the super, oh my god. Rainbow super. Whoa, you did, yeah, holy shit, you did one of each kind. I just, I just noticed. Oh my god. Whoa, yamayoi, thank you so much. I'm going to read these right now, because that was really sweet of you. You make my heart uh, beat fast, but it helped me relax. Thank you for the breathing stream. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me enough to um, try it out with me. Everyone in chat, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Yamayoi. The rainbow. <laughs> Double rainbow. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm very grateful for this platform. Very grateful to Niji Sanji um, to be a part of something so cool and be able to reach you guys. You know, I wouldn't have been able to meet you without this opportunity, and I'm very thankful. And. Uh, yeah, if I can if I can help anybody in any way, shape or form, then I am so happy. <laughs> you got I, I can't believe it. You know you know what I saw on Twitter earlier this morning? Somebody got somebody got a tattoo of me. Did you guys see that? Somebody got a tattoo of me. And I and I saw it and I was like what? Like I I have touched this person's life in a way that they that they got a tattoo of me? Like Like I don't know what to say. I guess I am having an impact on people's lives. That makes me so happy. <laughs> It's really, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's actually awesome. Pog! <laughs> Did you retweet it? I'm going to. I'm going to when I get off of this stream. I don't know how, how long I'll have this stream. Just because I wanted it to be a short one. Just a really simple, uh, you know, just breathe with Ren stream. <laughs> uh... So now, yeah, so now we have breathed together. We have manually, we've done some manual breathing together. <laughs> Pog, do you have any tattoos, Ren? No, I don't actually. I don't have any tattoos. Might get one one day, I don't know. What would I get though? I'm not sure. What would I get? Maybe just like a big tattoo of Aster's face on my chest. How about that? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I get, actually. <laughs> a dinosaur? Nessie? Ooh, a dinosaur. Ooh. Like a T-Rex skull? Ooh, ooh, that's edgy. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't know what I get, to be fair. A small UFO. <laughs> oh, that's cute. An alien face. Ooh. Ooh, you guys are giving me ideas. <laughs> but yeah. How was your day, you guys? Do you feel... 
You feel good? Do you feel sufficiently wound down or, or like ready to start the day? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, feeling good, feeling much better. Yeah, I bet I could beat God. <laughs> wow, wow, the breathing uh, made you feel that good, huh? It does feel really nice. I really like, um, I did mention like, um, while we were doing the breathing that it's really, it's really good to hone in on the sensations in your body. Like the kind of, you, you know, like, uh, kind of listen and feel your heart beating and, um, even just like the blood rushing through your veins and stuff like you can, yeah, it feels, it feels nice to notice that stuff. And, um, I think that, it, yeah, I think it'd be really good for anxiety because, um, those are, those are some things that like never change as long, as long as you're alive, <laughs> you know? Uh, so like being able to always notice them and always notice that there's something stable and something constant, you know? Do, do you get what I mean? Like to be able to hone in on that stuff and really just feel like uh, a sense of security, you know? It's good. It's good. It's good to remember. Mm. I'm going to attempt to draw you. It's going to turn out bad, isn't it? Do your best. Have fun doing whatever you'd like to do. If you want to draw, go for it. I came to breathe. <laughs> Look at us. We're still breathing right now. Is it, the exercise didn't even stop. We're still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad day recently, plus I'm having a fever, so I'm not feeling so well. But after the breathing, I somehow feel so much better and uh, light and relaxed now. Thank you, Ren. Your tweet helps too. Aw, that makes me happy. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Hello? Bruh, how the fuck are you so positive all the time? Like, doesn't it hurt uh, you to not talk shit? <laughs> I talk shit sometimes. I'm cursed. You've seen. You know how cursed I am. You know? That's a... N Wait, is that like negative? That's not negative, actually. Hang on. Well, I can be... I can be toxic sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I talk shit sometimes. I talked shit to you that one time. Shit chat. I'm sorry. Bad timing, y'all. You were having a moment. Now I feel bad. <laughs> it's okay. Me and the Renvaders. Okay, we're gonna group hug Hyo right now. Okay? Let's, let's do it. Mmm. There you go. We like, we squeezed him like a, a squeaky toy. He was like... <laughs> no, it's it's not about being positive like you know, 24/7 though. Y'all just suffocated me. <laughs> you're okay, you're okay. No, nah, no, nah, it's it's not about being positive like 24/7. I'm not positive 24/7. I'm not trying to uh, I'll never say that like I am, you know. But it's like, I don't know. You can you can live your life different ways and I prefer to stay happy and positive as much as I can I don't know a lot of people a lot of people online are just like oh that's if you're doing that that's kind of like you're being fake kind of thing but I think that maybe those people just don't know anything different you know and at least, you know and I, emp I empathize with that but you know, yeah, fake it till you make it. Sometimes that, sometimes that actually works a little bit, you know? I don't know. I've, I'm toxic. I'm, I, I've been, you know, I've had moments that I have not been proud of at all, you know? I think we all have, you know? And you look at yourself and you go, wow, I'm just a piece of shit. 
you know? But uh, that is a part of being human. We cannot be we cannot be our best side all of the time. As long as we're just always making an effort to kind of get better, you know? Um, you know, it's part of being alien as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so like you're just going to throw subs at me? <laughs> <laughs> no chat Ren is low-key nicer off stream shit is wild <laughs> yeah I try to I <laughs> it's actually fun. it's funny because like because like you know if you want to be cool if you want to be cool you got kind of you got to be a dick sometimes you know so sometimes I gotta like play up the the dick aspect <laughs> On stream. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you so much for the supers, you guys. Uh, can you pass out from the breathing? I I haven't personally, but that is uh, that's one of the reasons why I added the disclaimer and I said, you know, make sure that if you're doing this, make sure that. Um, that you're sitting down or lying down, just like in a really comfy place, like uh, like on your couch or on your bed, because that that is actually, you know, uh, in how I said, don't do it in the bath. It's probably for that reason as well. Is because like you don't want to get you don't want to get dizzy <laughs> if you can just like fall over and then like be submerged underwater. Okay, please please be safe with it. Um, uh, yes, I've, I've never passed out though from it. Um, you get like you get dizzy and you get lightheaded and stuff, but it's uh, people saying dizzy dizzy <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think of that um, But yeah, yeah, no, so I I haven't personally and I don't think I've heard of anybody actually Doing that but uh, another thing to keep in mind is just take it at your own pace if you feel like it's too much if you feel like it's too much and um you know, you need to slow down a little bit, like, just, just do it. It's okay. You know, it's not really a set kind of thing. You can, you can kind of just listen to your body. You know? Haha. <laughs> Breathing exercise to give you blue sugar high? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it uh, it activates the blue sugar high. No, it definitely it actually does kind of like um, if you do it right and you really because you're putting like a lot of oxygen into your system and I feel like a lot of us we um, we breathe really shallow throughout the day, right? And we don't even notice it. Um, but uh, if you breathe really shallow throughout the day, you're not gonna have enough oxygen for one. Uh, to actually have your body working optimally and two um, You're gonna yeah, if you're breathing Shallow and fast you're gonna be in a state of stress like con chronic stress, you know, and that is not good for anyone <laughs> Kyo says from someone who gets dizzy from it. My advice is adjust the timing for how uh, Long you hold your breath. Yep etc. Uh, with a lower time to make it easier so you don't get lightheaded. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, that's good advice, Kyo. Yeah, um... I definitely think that, like, a lot of people, when I was doing the breathing exercise, and they saw, they're just like, they're like, one minute thirty? Hold my breath for one minute thirty! Um... I... I thought the exact same thing when I started, uh... Because there's, like, a video I put on to kind of do it. On YouTube. And when I saw one minute thirty, I was like, what the fuck? How am I gonna, how am I gonna hold my breath for this long? <laughs> and I kind of like had a little, little freak out in my head. Well, not like a freak out, but I was just like, holy shit, how do they expect me to do this? But then if you, you know, if you're really breathing in, breathing out fast and stuff, you're getting, you know, you're, you're getting a lot of oxygen in. You can do it a hundred percent. You can do it. Like, I think my, uh, I think my record for holding my breath is, uh, around three minutes now. Um, and, and, and that's not even special. There's like, I, I feel like you guys could get up there. You could get up there. It's a lot of, um, it's just a lot of practice as well, you know? Three minutes. 
I'd like to, um, I'd like to, because since we did this um, breathing exercise together and and it was a guided exercise, I was really guiding you through it. So I wasn't really doing the the breathing technique properly myself, you know, because I, I was talking you through it. But um, I'll probably do it later today as well. And just uh, just for myself, because, um, yeah. And you can you can definitely increase your lung capacity this way. Definitely. Ever thought of doing free diving? No, I've actually, I've got a friend who has, his partner um, is a free diver. And uh, yeah, they've talked about it and I'm like, wow, that actually sounds so cool. What a cool hobby, you know? But uh, apparently, yeah, there's a lot of like dangers involved. Um, and he was just telling me about the kind of, the um, procedure, you know, like the, the kind of, the way they go about it, and they have to be pretty methodical about it. Otherwise, they can get into really deep trouble fast. You know, like you don't want to, you don't want to, um, you don't want to come back up to the surface too quick, because like your lungs could collapse. <laughs> that's that's kind of terrifying to think about, really. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it sounds like it. It sounds. If you do it right, it sounds like it could be an amazing hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it could be pretty dangerous. Yeah, the difference in pressure. Mm. Mm-hmm. I can't swim? Oh. That might be the first thing you need to learn. <laughs> if you want to do free diving. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Start with doggy paddle, and then work your way up. <laughs> you got this, I believe in you. Can you swim though? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can swim. I can swim. I can do backstroke. I can do the breaststroke. <laughs> do you swim well though? Yeah, I, I swim pretty good, I think. Do you float or sink? Uh, it depends on how you position yourself in the water. If you, if you do it like, you know, you're lying with like your belly up, you'll float. If you just stop paddling and you just like, and you're, and you make like a pencil pose, then you're just going to sink, aren't you? <laughs> wow, Ren the Mermaid? <laughs> I mean, like, a lot of people can swim. My legs always sink. Oh yeah. Scuba. I've done um not not scuba not scuba diving, but I've done uh, snorkeling before. That was pretty cool. <laughs> what about butterfly swimming? Uh I forget how that one how how you do that. <laughs> Snorkeling is nice, yeah. Snorkeling's pretty cool. I can only float, nothing else. Well, I mean, that's a start. That's that's still technically swimming because you're not sinking, right? Hey. You know. He's a swimmer. <laughs> I will teach you how to swim. I will teach you how to swim, Renvaders, okay? We let's 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 make a let's make a date and we can go to the beach together. Wait, we're already here. We're already here. Why don't we? Why don't I just teach you right now, huh? <laughs> why don't I, I just teach you? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go into the water. <laughs> Woo! It's chilly in here! It's cold. It's good though. It's good though. Okay. This is the hardest part when you get down to- Oh, okay. I got my legs in. Hang on. The hardest part is uh, putting like, you know, that, that area under the water. 
If you're a guy, you know, okay? When you, okay, but once you... Okay, okay. Alright, you see? Once you get past that, then everything else is easy. Okay. Alright. And then you just swim. It's easy. Okay. Just flail, flail your arms around like this, chat. Okay? You got this. You got this. Oh! You going under? It's okay. I got you. Alright. There you go. And now just flail your arms around like this, okay? Yeah! Easy! You got it! <laughs> See? That wasn't hard. I mean, yeah, we're in the shallow end, but like, still counts. You're drowning? No, you're not. Come here. <laughs> you're not drowning. Not on my watch. I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> Just swim, forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Ren, help. Holy shit. How many of you guys are going under right now? I, I, I've only got two arms. Okay, come on. There you go. All right. You good. You good. <laughs> Not the dick freeze. Yeah, I know. The dick freeze is the... I mean, I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it, but Kyo, yeah, the dick freeze is the worst part. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Hello. That was good for your first lesson. We will try again. We will try again. Maybe in another stream. <laughs> Pog, we can swim. <laughs> you guys, and the best part of it is, the best part is we got some vitamin D as well. And now we're probably sunburned. Fuck. <laughs> Isn't it like super important? Yeah, you really need to put on sunscreen when you when you go f swimming and stuff because like what is it the reflection of the sun from the water it like makes your sunburn worse or something? Is it is that a thing? Yeah, pretty sure it is. Especially in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a thing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thought so. I don't get uh, burn easily because I got a lot of melatonin. Oh, I see, I see. I burn pretty easily. My uh, my skin is really pale. <laughs> it's, it's really pale. So I <laughs> I get sunburned quite a bit, actually. Melatonin? Yeah. Is that... Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Oh, Mel melanin, not melatonin. Oh my bad. I was thinking of me wait. Melatonin is the shit that helps you sleep. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of melatonin in my skin. I don't get burn easily, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking third years. Hey, hey. I'm trying. It's okay. I've accepted that I'm stupid. I'm stupid, but I'm free. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, w I wanted to go to the beach again. Soon. I like the beach. What are, like, your favorite places to hang out, you guys? You're stupidly adorable. <laughs> you like I'm stupid? Then hey. <laughs> At home? At the park? Oh yeah. Somebody said at the mall. I like hanging out and just like walking around shop shopping centers and stuff. Doing a bit of shopping. I, I do a lot of like window shopping. I just kind of like look at shit and, and don't buy a lot of the time. Would you guys want to do that? Would you want to go to the mall with me? Want to go to the mall with me? We can be mall rats together. <laughs> we can do some window shopping. To the cafe? Ooh. Let's go to the cafe together. Oh, I'll get a chai latte. What do you want? I will, I will buy you something. I will shout you something. What do you want?
You want a mocha? Iced coffee? Ooh, you like iced coffee, huh? Ah, I can I can respect that. Iced tea latte. Mmm. Yo, you guys, a lot of you guys like iced coffee. Mmm, yum. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you that. With milk, of course. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Boba milk tea? I like boba. I probably don't like boba as, as much as everyone else. I feel like everyone else on the internet, they, they love boba. It's like their favorite drink. Bubba or booba? I would have to go with booba. <laughs> Love the way you say bubba. Why? Bubba. Bubba, 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 bubba. <laughs> Do I say it weird? Bubba. Bubba? I'm not saying bubba, I'm saying bubba. Huh? Boba? Boba? I'm not saying boba. Oh, is it like boba? Is it boba? Is that how you say it? boba? <laughs> That's how you say it, dummy. You say a boba? Boba. I thought that it was boba this whole time. <laughs> Why am I... <laughs> Baba! Let's go for some Baba tea! Kyo! Come on, let's go get a Baba! Let's go get a Baba! <laughs> oh, fuck! Really? That's how you say it? Fucking third years, bro. <laughs> well... I like Baba. I'm gonna call it that. Let's go get a Baba together. <laughs> what? I've heard other people! I've heard other people call it Boba. Boba? Boba just sounds wrong to me. Boba. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. It's in the past now, okay? It's in the past. Let's move on. It's in the past. Don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Aussies? I don't know if it's an Aussie thing or if it's just a me thing. It's probably just a me thing. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Ren. Hey, how you doing? I just realized that this whole setup in my stream right now... This is like... I feel like... You know, you know how on like dating apps, they're like, yeah, so my hobbies are, I like long walks on the beach, you know, <laughs> I just realized, I just realized, <laughs> um, yeah, so chat, I like long walks on the beach, touching grass, you know, breathing, so what do you say? What do you say? Do you think we're compatible? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my dating profile picture? Okay, ready? Here's my dating profile picture. Ready? <laughs> no, because I don't want to breathe. You don't want to breathe? Kyo, don't say that. Don't say that, or I will give you... The kiss of life. I will, I will, I will give you oxygen. He's probably like, Ew! <laughs> Hey, if any of my friends stopped breathing in front of me, I would jump on them and give them the kiss of life until they came back. Okay, I'm, no. Fuck that. You know, even, even if it means that me and the homies lips got to touch, I would do it to save their life. I would do it. <laughs> I know my friends would do the same for me. <laughs> Rent's a real one. 
I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm not just gonna stand there. Free kisses. <laughs> that, that does not count. That doesn't count. <laughs> what do they call it? The jaws of life? Is that it? Do they call it the jaws of life or the kiss of life? It's the kiss of life, right? Ren gives CPR. Yeah. Actually, I don't I don't know how to do CPR properly. So like if if that ever had if it ever got to that point, I would try, I would do my best unless somebody else was there, you know, that knew CPR. But like if if I was the only one, I would do my best. But I don't know if it would work very well. Fan artist, spare me this one time, please. <laughs> Oh no. Kyo, you shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have said anything. You're manifesting it. You're manifesting a fan art of me and you at a beach. <laughs> now I'm manifesting it. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. No, no, no. Jaw of life is for breaking metal, please. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, never mind. Earth terminology is difficult, okay? Very difficult. Chest compression to the song staying alive. Ha 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 ha. Please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> okay. Shutting up. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Your hands are shaking? Oh no! Why? Are you cold? Somebody, somebody, hold their hands right now! Get them still. Ren, sometimes you sound like the SpongeBob narrator. Huh? Twelve hours later. <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> what, that dude? <laughs> We've gotta get SpongeBob back! Ah, Squidward! Squidward! <laughs> get away from me, SpongeBob! <laughs> Two hours later. Ah, this is fun, Squidward! Ah! <laughs> oh man, I wish I could do Mr. Krabs. Can you do Gary? Doesn't he just meow? He's like, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> money, money, money. How do you do it in Mr. Krabs' voice? He's like, <clears throat> money. Money, money, money. <laughs> I can't even do it. No, fuck that. I can't do it. <clears throat> no, I sound like a fucking Muppet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Patrick? Patrick's just like a derpy, like... He's like... Spon Spongebob. <laughs> I can't. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> Plankton? Oh, dude! I, me and, me and my, uh, one of my family members, we were practicing a Plankton voice the other day, and it just was not good at all. He's like, what would you say? He's like, Rich. no, no. Hang on, ha hang on! I gotta try on my own, because I've gotta, like, hang on, hang on, give me two seconds, wait, wait. Nah, fuck it. No, I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm not showing you. <laughs> He's practicing. Yeah, I was practicing. We we got it. We got it pretty good the other day, but now I can't. I can't get it again. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. It's kind of like that. <laughs> Can you guys do any SpongeBob impressions? 
Again? <laughs> no, it, do it doesn't even sound like him properly. When I, when I back it up, is it fat enough? <laughs> get get playing to say the most cursed shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's fun hanging out with you guys. <laughs> Ren never stop. <laughs> Ren is cursed, Tuskaroo. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys know at this point. <sighs> I'm cursed. I'm cursed, I'm cringe. I am, I'm all that good stuff, but hey, we all are, you know, no one's special, no one's above it all, okay, we're all cursed, we're all cringe, <laughs> thank you for making my day, thank you for making my day, thank you so much for being here, <laughs> girl voice, no, I tried that in a different stream, and that didn't work very well, I don't think, it might. Aster's got to teach me how to do a girl voice. <laughs> but you are free. Exactly, I'm free. I am free. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> Where did you go? I went back to my home planet. <laughs> Please come back. Mm -hmm. No legs? No, I got legs. Hang on, I just gotta do this instead. I am free! Whee! I'll come back down. Please look respectfully, chat. Please look respectfully. Hello. There we go. Looking respectfully. I'm looking. I'm glad you guys all look respectfully. And you definitely don't look disrespectfully do you definitely definitely being very say so aren't you <laughs> oh man you know what I, I never know who's watching my streams like people that I know like other libraries like I'm sure that there's I'm sure there's someone lurking here still. If it if it's Kyo though, it'll be funny. <laughs> um, I just do like sus things on stream, and then I just I just kind of forget. I just kind of forget that you know, <laughs> people that like know me <laughs> in real life are probably watching, and probably being like, oh my god, <laughs> or maybe. Maybe they don't care, actually. What if your family is watching? <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. They could be. They could be. They very well could be. Bruh, I'm just trying... Kyo is here! <laughs> Still. Bruh, I'm just trying to work on my schedule, and here you are being goofy. <laughs> oh, what do you mean, Kyo? Well, I'm not being goofy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, oh, you guys, you're gonna like, uh, you're gonna like next week, or this, this week's schedule coming up. Uh, you know, there may or may not be, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, Kyo and Ren. Ah. Hmm. There's a couple cool, uh, things that I'm looking forward to this week, actually. So yeah, stay tuned. Ew. Huh? Ew. What did I say this time? 
Kyo just thinks everything I do. Everything I do is ew. <laughs> well. Well, shit. This is basically a Zatsu now. Yeah, 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 it is. It is. I mean, we could do... We could do one more round of breathing. If you want. If you want. I could do it without the commentary so we could, like, legit do it together if you want. Yeah? Kyo. Hang on, Kyo's in here. Kyo. Do you want to try this? Would you try it? You don't, no, I, I don't mean like, you don't, don't like hop on a uh, call or whatever. I just mean like, just there, in your own time. Would you try it? Because this time I'm going to do it legit then. I'll do one round. <laughs> I'm curious, I'm curious like what people, uh, if, if people like it or not. The second I get dizzy, I'm stopping, but... Okay. Yes! Okay, he's gonna try it with me. Okay. If you... If you... Just just do it lying down. Just do it lying down. So if you get dizzy, then, like, you... Yeah. You know. But, uh... But, yeah. I've personally... I, I've never, like, passed out from doing it, so... Uh... Okay. Let's let's try this. Let's try this, okay? Let, let us... Let us go again. You ready, Renvaders? We are going to do this together. No commentary from me this time. You guys know what to do. Just relax. Relax your body and really try to focus in on, uh, yeah, just different feelings throughout your body, like uh, your heartbeat, blood running through your veins, things like that. Okay, ready? Let us go. Oh, shit. Hang on. I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up. Okay, so start with <clears throat> breathing in. Ready? Let's go. Oh shit, hang on. Here we go. Way there. Ten left. I'm gonna see how long I can do it for. Last one. And hold.
All right. Woo! Feel good. <laughs> All right, I can usually go longer, but um, you have to do like a couple rounds in a row to kind of build yourself up to that. Um, if you do like four rounds or something, I've done like four rounds and that's when you get like really good. Yeah, nice! Thanks for doing another uh, round with me, you guys. <laughs> nice! Ugh, feel good. How you feel? How's everyone feel? Kyo, how'd you go? Kyo, you alive? <laughs> Kyo just doesn't reply. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Feeling ref refreshed? Feeling a little bit dizzy? Bro, I have to, uh, I have to up in 20 seconds in. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. If, um, I think it's like a thing that you can kind of like, uh, get better at as well, like with practice, so. Um, I feel much better? Yeah, good. I'm glad. Did you, did you get like the tingliness and stuff in your like fingers, Kyo? That happens for me. Feels cool. <laughs> Feels cool. I feel like a cloud. Yeah, it really makes you, it really does actually make you feel light. You know, it makes you feel really just kind of like, like really light, really like clear. I feel like, I don't know if this is like a funny thing to say, but it feels like around my head, around my head, like there's a lot of like open space. <laughs> Kyo's gonna make a joke and just be like, it's cause you're a third year and you're dumb. <laughs> No, I just felt dizzy and had to stop. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks that it's that doesn't seem to work as well for you. Maybe maybe the maybe like the cold therapy might might help you. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or might might feel good, you know. Who knows. But yeah, we're all different. Like uh it's cool to find like a technique that uh really connects with you if you're looking for something that is you know, a lot of people, you know, don't feel like they need any, anything like this, which is, which is good, you know? Does cold, having cold hands normal after the breathing? Yeah, it's normal. Yep. Yeah, I was, um, uh, I, um, I think I mentioned before when we were doing it for the first time, um, that you can expect to feel like different temperature changes in your body. And I think that, I think that's just the, I think that's just the oxygen reaching, um, uh, you know, like your extremities and different parts of your body. It's really just the oxygen. Hmm. This made me feel relief. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I was, I was very nervous about this stream, but, um, I'm happy I did it now. I'm really happy I did it. Ever seen things when breathing, like vision-wise? Oh, uh, there's a thing that happens if you do like, uh, uh, if you do uh, a bunch of rounds. Um, don't don't go like don't go like crazy though. Like I've done like maybe four, maybe five rounds, like max. They probably don't do more than that. I don't know. I I don't actually know if like uh, anything more than that is good for you or not. So pro probably look into it yourself if you're thinking about that stuff. But. Um, yeah, sometimes like when it, when I have my eyes closed and I'm and I'm doing the breathing and stuff towards the end with like the breath retention, like you kind of see like colors, you know, little flashes of colors and stuff. It's cool. It's very cool. What is the breathing technique called again? It's uh, the one we did today is um, called the Wim Hof technique. So um, yeah, if anybody is curious about about it yeah um look into it uh there's some cool kind of like uh studies that have that have um yeah that they've done about it so, so yeah wim hof it's uh it's uh spelled like this so. um but it's uh this this one this uh wim hof technique is like uh is one of many and they're very similar so it's really it's really just like whatever one you vibe with you know uh, this this sort of like um, kind of like breathing fast and then uh, holding your breath technique has been around for like centuries centuries you know uh, yeah 
you know, like people people have known about this stuff for a long time. So yeah, so really, really just um. Are there any other uh, more techniques techniques like that? Yes, but I don't I don't know them uh, by name. I don't know them off the top of my head. So um, yeah, have a you know if you're interested, do a little bit of research. Research, and uh, if you feel like it's it's benefiting you in a positive way and making you feel you know feel better throughout the day, then uh, yeah, then good, good for you. Five thousand years. It's been a yeah. I mean, like yoga and like meditation and stuff has been around for a long ass time, dude. <laughs> Anybody who you know. We're all just, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, it's cool, yeah, there's a, there's a video, there's a video for the a Wim Hof one that I do that is just like easy and it's free, which is good, you don't have to pay anything, because <laughs> that'd be kind of a rip-off, I mean, you're just breathing, <laughs> that'd be kind of fucked, <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure to drink water, exactly, yes, Arisotto. Mmm. Free air. Exactly. Will this be a monthly thing? Do you want it to be? Would you guys want to make this like a thing? I... I wouldn't mind. You know, because I know that a lot of people get really busy and, you know, get caught up in their... Yeah? You would? Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe we can. That's cool. I didn't I didn't realize so many people would be like... Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, maybe let's uh, let's let's do this again. Let's let's do this again. We can we can meet here in the same spot. Okay, I like it here. It's relaxing here. I, I like this place. Very nice. We might meet here next time, or maybe we could find like a new location to do it. How about weekly? Hmm. Would you want to do weekly? I feel like weekly might be a little much. We could I don't know. We'll we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. Remember you can all you can always do this stuff in uh in your own free time as well. The the VOD's gonna be here, so if you ever just wanna do this again with me, if if you like if you like breathing with me, um then uh yeah, the VOD's here and uh just replay it and we can we can do it again. Yeah. We can be breathing buddies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hooray for the VODs. <laughs> Under cherry blossom trees? Oh, yo, that would be very relaxing, actually. <laughs> Ren is our breathing buddy. Yeah, we breathe together. You know what? It's uh, the first time I did, uh, I like introduced one of my family members uh, to like the breathing because they were asking about it. They're just like, oh, what do you, so what do you do? And I was like, I could show you if you want. And they were like, yeah. And the first time doing it together and like, I don't know, just like breathing in like really deep and breathing out just like it, uh, you kind of do it a little bit loud and stuff. And so it was a little bit awkward with somebody else like in the room with you at first. But, uh, but I mean, you're just breathing, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, you get over it eventually. <laughs> It must have sounded um, funny to you guys when I, when I started doing the breathing exercise, and then it's just like, wow, he's really going for it. You know, he's breathing in pretty hard. <laughs> but that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do with this technique. The whole point is to really just like get a lot of oxygen into your system. You know, <laughs> so people are probably like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, and I needed to show you guys the little uh, this little guy before we got started. Because, because if I just like, if I just like, whipped that out at the start of the stream, you, it probably would have just been like, <laughs> you know, you probably just would have seen the little, the little, uh, yeah, it would have been, it would have been cute, but also like, uh, the little chibi, would it would have been funny. I, I feel like if I, if somebody did that to me, I would have laughed and I wouldn't have been able to like breathe properly <laughs> through it. <laughs> He's very cute, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you to the artist who, um, who, uh, created. I would have laughed. It's silly. Yeah, it's, it's pretty silly. 
I, I just wanted to keep it lighthearted, you know, so. It was my first time, so I was laughing. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I tried to make today's stream as relaxing vibe as possible, so hopefully I did. You guys, th does this look like... Does this look like... You know, like one of those games, what is it, a dating sim? An anime dating sim? And I'm just like, hey, you made it. So, do you want to take a look around? Yeah, this is my favorite spot to come. To, to, to come and like check out, I mean. like. <laughs> oh my god, why do I have to be so fucking sus? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, now, now, I was relaxed before, and now I'm becoming my own... <laughs> I'm becoming the way that I usually am. Unsay so, unwholesome. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That's enough, that's enough for me. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I didn't realize until you mentioned it. Oh god. I shouldn't have said anything. Favorite place to come. Best quote of the day. <laughs> the usual Ren. Ah, uh, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm. I didn't even hear it? No, that's good, that's good. I didn't say anything, don't worry. What did you get on the test? I, I'm not gonna answer that. I'm not gonna answer that in this stream. I mean, I started and then I was like, okay, hang on, I'll, I'll do this later when I've, when I can really think about it. Wait, what? What kill? Send me results. Wait. <laughs> when you're done. Oh! You send me your results! I wanna know what you got. I wanna judge you? <laughs> hey! What the? Is it a long test? I love how we're just talking about this test during this nice relaxing stream. I am- I am tainting this stream. Bro, my shit is like 99% vanilla. Oh. <laughs> Look, I probably won't be as vanilla as you. <laughs> okay, let's let's change the subject. I'm boring and basic. That's not boring. That's not boring. Nothing wrong with that. Let's change the subject. <laughs> Taking notes? <laughs> no one wants to change the subject. Everyone's like, "Ayo." <laughs> kind of hard to change the subject. <laughs> okay, let me think of something. Hmm. Hmm. What is your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite? Uh, yeah, how's the weather? Yeah, how's the weather? Where you are right now, yeah. What is your favorite season? There we go, perfect change of subject. Totally natural. Autumn? Mmm. I like autumn a lot too. Autumn probably might be my favorite as well, actually. Jesus, first dates with you must be horrific. <laughs> what would you talk about on a first date, Kyo? Huh? If you're so romantic, what? Okay, you know, no, you know what I would really talk about on a first date? I'd be like, so, what do you, what makes you happy? What makes you passionate? Because that's, that's shit I care about. That's actually shit I care about. I would say, like, what, what makes you happiest in your life? Because I, I, I'd want to know. No, I'm just saying you're bad at coming up with convo, convo topic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Drawing? Drawing makes you happy? That's good. Yeah. See, you could have asked uh, chat that much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have probably led on that, huh? I love how um, Kyo is like wingmanning me with my chat right now. Kyo's just like, don't worry, you got this, bro. Don't worry. 
I think they like you. I think they like you, bro. <laughs> Oh man. Kyo is third wheeling? <laughs> I mean, you. I feel like I unintentionally third wheel so many people that, like, if I'm ever the third wheel, I deserve it, okay? <laughs> I fucking deserve it. Chat, we're winning. <laughs> I like to drink water. <gasps> you like to drink water too? Oh my god, we've got so much in common! We're so compatible! <laughs> wow! Wow! Wow, you like to drink water? Wow! <laughs> A W for water? Yeah, exactly. That's the best W you can get. Nice, nice. Cold glass of water. A nice tall glass of water. <laughs> Why sound like Donald Duck just then? That was that was Owen Wilson. You think Donald Duck sounds like wow? <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of Donald Duck cartoons have you been watching? Drink the ocean? No, I'm not gonna drink the ocean. That's salt water. That'll make you throw up. What are you trying to do to me? Wait, is this is this one of those human practical jokes where ha ha ha? Don't worry, Mr. Alien, you can drink seawater. I'm not gonna fall for that shit. I've, I've already tried it. I'm not gonna fall for that again. <laughs> Ren, he just told you to drown. If that were me, I wouldn't take that. <laughs> Wow! You know what? If I were me, I wouldn't take that either. You know what? Screw you! Whoever told me to drown. Screw you! You heckin' suck! You guys, now I'm wholesome. I don't swear anymore. Screw you, you... 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 Idiot. <laughs> Bad ending, y'all. We gotta restart. <laughs> yeah, Ren, Ren now is angry. Ren is angry now. Start over. This is the bad ending. <laughs> Rewind the time. Okay, you can start over. Ready? Ready? You can start over. Alright, let's start this over. Hello! Thanks for meeting me here. So, you like this place, do you? You like coming here? Nice. It's, it's very... It's very peaceful. Okay, chat. You have to unanimously decide what to say to me next, okay? <laughs> Dating Ren Sim? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. We're just we're just playing around, okay? We're just playing around. I don't I don't want I don't want any weird p parasocial stuff, please no. None of that, okay? We're just playing around. We're just Let's do this. The ocean is a soup. Ren ponders what you just said. Wondering if he should laugh or if he should leave. He's in a funny mood, so he laughs. <laughs> yeah, the ocean is kind of like a soup, isn't it? But don't drink it. <laughs> I did that once. Ah, oh, hey. Um, so, yeah. So, what are your hobbies? <laughs> Oh no, Kyo has messaged me. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Never mind, hang on, hang on. 
Anyways, chat, so... You like drawing. You like VTubers. Oh. I'm somewhat of a VTuber myself. Yeah, what's your favorite content to watch from a VTuber? <laughs> Not the VTuber card. <laughs> Everything? Oh! Oh, you like Vox ASMR, do you? Hmm. You sicken me. You died. End of run. End of run. <laughs> no, hang on, hang on. This is this is actually this is actually what it would be like. Oh, Vox ASMR, huh? Hmm. I can see that you've got good taste. <laughs> Restart from save point. <laughs> Do you have a VTuber crush? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? What about you? Do you have a VTuber crush? Oh, sorry, sorry. Something's wrong with my eye. <laughs> I got something in it. Ah, sorry about that. Ah. <laughs> hmm? Mista? Mista's your crush? I think we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Ren Zoto's your crush? Who's that? Who's that? Hey. You've been talking to someone called Ren Zo Oh wait! Oh, it's me! Oh, okay. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm stopping this. I'm stopping this right now. You win. You win the game. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Yay, the good ending. Yay! You won, chat. You won. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, you guys, it has been fun, but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, a little bit hungry. So I might just uh, keep having a walk down the shore here. I think there's a fish and chip shop somewhere over there. So um, I'm just gonna, gonna make my way over there. Feel free to tag along if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I will end the stream here. Ooh, I hope they have chicken salt. Do chicken salt on chips? Mmm. Mwah. Nothing better. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, for real though, thank you guys so much for um, hanging with me and giving uh, this stream a chance. I'm glad that um, you vibed with it so much. And um, yeah, maybe we can do this again in the future. I don't know when, uh, I don't know how often I'll do it, but um, yeah, I think it'd be cool just to kind of like, to refresh, you know, every once in a while. Because yeah, we've all got <laughs> very busy lives, a lot of shit happening every day, you know? It's stressful, I think we need some time to unwind. And if you wanna do it together, then um, yeah, I'm down. I'm more than happy. I hope that, um, yeah, everyone has a good rest of the day. Good night. If uh, you are going to bed now, sweet dreams. And I will uh, see you in tomorrow's stream. Oh, I need to do my schedule. I'll have my schedule up um, a little bit later. But uh, tomorrow, we have got a collab with um, someone who I haven't done a one-on-one -on -one collab with yet. So uh, look forward to that. It's going to be cool. All right, you guys. Thank you so much again, and um, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye, see ya.